today we're going to be talking some of the do's and don'ts when it comes to answering interview questions so as you guys have seen from the previous video i spoke a lot about um what are some of the things that you you want to do when you're preparing for an interview and what are the things that you just don't want to do because they're going to raise red flags so today we're going to be going through some of the common interview questions and um talking about how to answer them and what not to do hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is precious Natiko. here we talk all things academics careers and finance and wellness if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and a very big thank you to 500 subscribers thank you so so much we hit the 500 subscribers mark just last week thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed thank you to the people who keep commenting please do comment i really love seeing you guys comment first things first when you are now seated um next to the people that are going to be interviewing you what you don't want to do for your own confidence as well um do not sit back like this do not fold your arms because apparently it looks like you're being defensive if you have your arms um, crossed in front of you. Even if you have, you sit up straight, but you still have your arms crossed. It kind of like gives off like you are ready to defend yourself. Or else if you have your arms or your hands on your knees or somewhere, um, then it kind of shows that you are relaxed. And I think what has also helped me um, is being I like putting my hands on my knees. It's sort of like telling myself to calm down. Somehow when I do that, I just learn to calm down because sometimes I do get nervous and I start rambling and I start so speaking very fast. Um, so just try to calm down. And actually, let's talk about that for a moment. Um, those nerves. I, I know interviews are so nerve-wracking, especially sometimes I feel like sometimes the more you prepare, the more scared you feel because... You watch these YouTube videos that tell you you shouldn't speak like this, you should speak like that, like this video that I'm, <laughs> I'm making right now. And sometimes I think it makes you get into your head so much and you you just become very nervous. Well, first of all, being nervous is a part of the process. I think um, if you're not nervous, maybe it'll show that you don't want it hard enough or bad enough. So it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be unsure. It's okay to, you know... <sighs> nerves are a part of it i think with any um interview no matter if it's the first or second or third um it does it, it does become daunting but what i have found is that when you as you are moving through the interview process if you are you have done your first interview for example going into your second is kind of like you go in with that confidence so when you do feel nervous remember to speak very slowly um i know whenever i'm nervous i start to ramble and i speak very fast um, so try to like slow down your 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 speech as much as you can. If you think you're speaking slowly, like speak slower. All those nerves. Sometimes you can even say, oh, I, I'm, I'm feeling a bit nervous. You know, I think getting that out of the way, even in the interview, is gonna is also going to like help you calm down a little bit. But what you don't want to do is to ramble on about how nervous you are and how anxious you are and letting your anxiety take the stage. Um, do not do that. Like so, that's the first. Don't do not let your anxiety take the stage. So let's say you walk in and then they ask you how you're doing, and, you, and then you say I'm a little nervous. Or before you answer a certain question, you say please forgive me, I'm a little nervous. That's okay. That's you owning up to your nerves. However, when you now start rambling about how I'm so nervous, I'm so going to mess this up, and you start rambling on and on and on about that, like imagine how it's it's perceived from the other end of the interview. It's like okay, we get that you're nervous, but I'm sure there's more to you than your nerves, right, and your anxiety. You're going to be asked, please tell us about yourself. Some of the don'ts when it comes to that question, do not say what you want to know, or I don't know what, where to start, or something like that is giving I'm not prepared. So when you're asked, um, please tell us about yourself. This is a very strategic question, right? They're not asking you to tell them your life story about how you know, um, your boyfriend recently dumped you, but I mean, it's the same as how your father left you and how your mom raised you and your siblings alone and all these things, which are part of the story. I do acknowledge that, but they're not meant to be shared for the interview. So do not be too personal 
in terms of um do not dig into things that are not relevant for the interview so be relevant be concise have a story that you have prepared and with every interview your tell us about yourself is going to differ a little bit so for example let's say i'm going for a job interview in a tech company when i tell them about myself i think it's it's worth um highlighting even in answering that question my interest in technology because that kind of sets a tone for the for the entire interview so um what i would suggest is what it's called like okay i forgot the acronym now but basically you're going to tell them about your skills and your strengths you're going to tell them about your education and experiences and then you're going to tell them about your um your your story let me give you an example so i can say i recently graduated from the university of pretoria in become in become financial sciences and i'm currently pursuing my uh, postgraduate diploma in financial management at uj i am looking forward to entering the working space in like maybe in the okay now <laughs> i'm nervous i'm nervous okay <clears throat> Anyway, you guys get the point. How this can actually guide the in, the entire interview. I'll give you guys another example. Um, I remember I said in this particular interview, I said it very strategically that I am interested in um innovation and technology, which is true, but it was worth highlighting, and how it intertwines with business and finance, especially in the banking industry. Obviously, um, that kind of hints to the fact that i'm interested in technology which is something that was very emphasized on the website and a follow-up question on that was oh actually that's interesting so what do you think are some of the considerations that we need to have in um, employing ai into this space in in this finance industry be honest do not just tell them what you think they want to hear actually be honest so you want to align your truth with their values and what the company is about basically so the follow-up question was based on my tell me about yourself kind of question and i was able to answer that because i was prepared for that question one um thanks to ChatGPT, and two um it's something that i'm generally interested in and i i love talking about it so your first question is really going to set the tone for the entire interview do not like tell tell them a five minute story it can be just a minute of you speaking but make sure that you hint out those things that are valuable to them things that they stand for remember you are being interviewed by people who already work there so they are aware of their um some of their values and things that are important to them right and then another question that is going to be asked which is quite tricky is when you're asked what are your weaknesses you know sometimes it's easy for us to speak about our strengths right and i will get into that but um i want us to just pause for a moment and speak about um weaknesses so when you are being asked to um maybe say what are some of your weaknesses it's important that you first of all you do not say you do not have any weaknesses because that show that shows that you are not self-aware and secondly, do not say that you're a perfectionist. You want everything to be perfect. You're just like a, this perfect person and everything that you do has to be perfect. Maybe that is a thing, but like there's another way that you can put that. Do not say that you're a perfectionist, even if you think you're a perfectionist. Because that under, like kind of shows that you um you're not able to be aware of your areas of improvement. Because, I mean, if you are a perfectionist and you are a perfect person, um everything that you do is perfect it means that there is no area of improvement so what you do want to do is to rephrase the question from the moment that you start answering it so when you are asked what are your weaknesses or why shouldn't we hire you something that sounds a bit negative this also includes the question um tell me about a time where you failed so you can rephrase the the question when you're answering so for example if they are asked what are some of your weaknesses you can say one of my areas of improvement is the fact that I am, because of my people-pleasing personality, I sometimes take on more responsibility than I'm able to actually do because I want to be involved in a lot of different things. And that has led me to being overcommitted in different areas and not being able to complete the task that I have been given, right? And how I have planned or how I have... um been working on this is that i have actually read a book last year called boundaries and it has taught me a lot about having the importance of setting my own boundaries this is a true 
answer <laughs> that's like it's true to me but um i was giving you guys this as an example did you see what i did so first you wanna rephrase do not say one of my weaknesses are you say one of my areas of development and do not like start listing a bunch of weaknesses that are not um yeah that are just too many focus maybe on one or two weaknesses and have a story behind them so that you define why is this a weakness for you and how have you um started to 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 work towards improving on this because it's an area of development right it's an area of improvement so what actions have you taken this shows you this shows them that first you are self-aware and also that you are able to um you are able to improve on your 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 past um weaknesses i think it's very also important to not um list things that are red flags do not say things like i'm always late yo i never keep time that is not cute um do not say things like i i'm very bad with numbers and you are being interviewed for a finance position so your areas of, of improvements should be things that you can actually improve on and do not say things that are going to be red flags or say like you you really hate working with people and you are being interviewed for a role that requires you to work in a team so that kind of shows that you're not a right fit for them right and then now let's go to the strengths so if you're being asked about strengths again do not just list a bunch of strengths like i am very i am good with communication i i have great leadership skills i have this i have that and that but not telling the story so pick about three of your highlighting um strengths and weak uh, strengths that you have that you bring to the table and expand on them give examples i think it's very important to give examples because it shows that your answers are genuine and they can relate to you because remember these people are human right so you want to humanize the interviewer in a sense of you want them to relate to you somehow you want them to remember you and your story what you stand for so that is very very important um i think another question that is a bit tricky is why should we hire you do not say because you want money. I know we all want money, but anything but money. Do not say you want a job or do not say something. And don't think you're being smart by saying, uh, well, you guys are hiring. I know there are a lot of memes about that. It's a meme, guys. It's not to be taken seriously unless you don't want a job. So don't say things like that. Um, what they are actually asking you is, why are you a good fit for this company? So you want to dissect the question. Um, why should we hire you? The main point being you, not the hiring. Like the hiring, obviously they are hiring people. They have, they, they have post open. They need people to come into the company. But why you and not the next person? Or why do you want to work for this company? Um, the main point there not being why do you want to work, but rather why do you want to work for this company? Like why why do you choose this company instead of another company? Which is going to help you to answer the question because you, you now understand what is it that they're actually asking. So if you understand it from that point, you can be able to tell them what about this company that has interested you. Like you can say, when I was doing my research, which you did, um, when I was doing my research, what really interested me about the company is this and this. There is something that, that we call competitive advantage, something that makes them unique, um, different, and gives them a competitive advantage, right? That's the definition of strategy. Let me revising my content. But um, that's the definition of strategy. There's a strategy that makes this company work that allows them to continue um, functioning, that allows them to continue offering a service that people are willing to, to pay for, right? So what is it about that company that makes them better than others or not necessarily better, but different, right? And what makes you different? What is your competitive advantage? What is it that you bring to the table? And I think these are things that you need to think about and actually practice before beforehand um because you might not be asked the exact question but at least you have an idea of that and another question that is usually asked is some of those questions that are a little bit out of the box so they could be asking you something like okay if you were a fruit which fruit would you be first of all there is no right or wrong answer um if you are just a little bit like what <laughs> like what are you asking me because it's something that you didn't expect that's okay 
um what you don't want to do is to say yo why are you asking me that question so this is with regards to questions that you were not expecting so when you're asked something that you were not expecting whether it's out of the box or it's a really difficult question especially with the technical inter um technical interview you really do not know um do not say things like why are you asking me like that or i i really don't know what to say what you can do is to buy yourself a bit of time by repeating the question while you're answering so if they asked you so if you were a fruit which fruit would you be and then you're like oh that's an interesting question already you are you're, you're, you're buying yourself time and then you say um if i was a, a fruit which fruit would i be that is helping you make sure that you actually answer the question well and what they're actually asking and always at the back of your mind remind yourself why are they asking me this question they wouldn't just ask you for the sake of asking you there's something that they're evaluating at that point they're probably evaluating your personality or um they're trying to see how creative you are when it comes to being able to think on the spot gather yourself and you just try your best to answer the question try to buy yourself time um by doing things strategically um not like as if you don't know what you're saying but do them strategically like the repeating of the question and so on i think another question that is important to prepare for is where do you see yourself in five years um do not start counting like oh so nice 2023 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. do not do that because it kind of shows that you're not prepared um also do not say i don't know we'll see when we get there I think if you want to say that, which is, I think, valid, if you want to say that, just say it in a nicer way. Like, instead of saying, we'll see when we get there, you can say something like, um, you know, life is so unpredictable. Even we saw with the pandemic that something can just happen out of the blue that we're not expecting. And sometimes our plans become derailed. So it's, it's, it's quite difficult to make a five-year plan. But what I do see myself doing in the next five years is this and that. Because they're, they're not trying to like write down your five-year plan and you have to stick to it. They're trying to see if your plans for the next five years um, fit with the current role that you have. Right? Um, so the essence of what I'm saying, I'm not going to go through all the interview possible interview questions that um, we are often asked in interviews. But... What I want to uh, bring across, which is very important, is understanding why they're asking you that question. Being able to understand the why and dissect the question so that it doesn't sound as if um, you are not prepared. So try to understand why. For example, let's say uh, they say, uh, tell me a time where you, you dealt with conflict and how did you address it? Let's say at the top of your head, you do not have a, 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 an example of a time where you dealt with conflict if you don't have an, an example for that thing you're trying to tell them the what the story could have shown right so what i'm saying is if your story was showing that you first want to understand um why is the colleague having a conflict with you what is the real issue trying to hear them out you can actually say that outline if you do not have a story that shows that outline i hope that makes sense Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for 500 subscribers please if you haven't subscribed yet please click on that subscribe button do like this video comment and share and i will see you guys on the next one